Tier listing every cereal now. Breakfast cereal is actually from America, as surprising as that may be. Starting off, you know what? We're just going to go Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops, I'm going to say it. It's just going to go straight to S tier. I'm not even going to take any questions. You know, because of the bright colors, the super happy mascot, you pour up a bowl of Fruit Loops in some ice cold milk, and it is fantastic. Now, I understand not everybody may love Fruit Loops and they may put it more in a middle tier, but if you meet someone and they say Fruit Loops is deserving of F tier, they're not a real person. That is an AI generated human. Plain Rice Krispies, F tier. Bro, these are so bad. They taste like nothing. Like you pour them in with milk, right? And then you bite into them and they literally just taste like nothing. You might as well just eat some styrofoam. But then if you don't eat it within like the first two nanoseconds, it just turns to like straight mush. It's like you're eating Orbeez almost, but minus the fun texture, they're just... Ugh. Just as a plain cereal, they are not it. They're basically just naked fruity pebbles. This next one's a little controversial. Co con controver controversial. Controversial. Lucky Charms? Middle of the road, C tier. Yep, I understand how blasphemous that must be. You know, get angry, throw tomatoes at my head. But even now, I'm not a huge fan of Lucky Charms. They're not bad by any means. I personally just think they are heavily overrated. And on top of that, if you leave them in the bowl for anything longer than 45 seconds, it literally turns your milk gray. And the marshmallows are just overpowering sometimes. Not my first choice is what I'm trying to say. Apple Jacks A tier. Honestly, these are pretty good. I don't know what they did to the mascots though. Like look at the original mascots. They were almost unnerving, but charming at the same time. It always looked like they were fiending for something. But then, you know, a few years ago, they did a little rework and... What the hell is this? Bro, they turned them to Disney characters. Yeah, it's a pretty good cereal, though. Raisin Bran S tier. My girlfriend loves to clown me for this one. She would call me Old Man Nicholas. Like, dropping the government name is crazy. If you don't like Raisin Bran, you know, it's okay to be wrong. You should like Raisin Bran. And people who say, oh, the raisins are good, but the bran is bad. No, the bran is equally as good. And everyone also likes to complain that the raisin to bran ratio is all mixed up. No, it's perfect. Because then how else are you supposed to taste all the nutritious grains? Yeah, bro, I'm never going to stop defending raisin bran. It is so unbelievably good. Freakies, S tier. Yo, this is a cereal from like back in the 1980s. I have never had it. But I mean, bro, come on. You got a cereal called Freakies. <laughs> That's so stupid. Yo, look at this. Free Freaky Inside. Who is the genius that came up with this? Whoever they are, find them for me. I want to I want to meet them. Minecraft cereal. What what are we doing anymore? C tier. It's actually pretty good. Captain Crunch Oops All Berries. F tier. This is something that I'm not going to switch up on. This is abysmal. This is... Oh my goodness. It's so bad. Whenever I've bitten into this, I can just taste all of the blue one and the red 40, you know, coating my tongue. On top of that, giving me numerous different reasons I should be concerned for my health because what are these ingredients, dude? Tricks. D, eh, D tier. They're okay. I honestly was never a really big fan of them. I really thought they were just mediocre. Anything is better than Captain Crunch Oops All Berries because that is just absolute trash and should be burned. It could also be the fact that I just don't like fruit flavored cereals. I'd much rather stick with chocolate or, you know, honey or whatever Fruit Loops is because that is not fruit. Anyways, I'm going to contradict myself immediately by putting Fruity Pebbles up in S tier. I love love fruity pebbles so 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 much it is it is unbelievable how good it is unfortunately my taste buds were just exposed to fruity pebbles less than five years ago i never really had it as a kid because i would always say i don't want to try it because i thought it would be bad but how wrong i was they are amazing i'd honestly probably say they are in my top three favorite cereals of all time they are fantastic and then right next to fruity pebbles we got cocoa pebbles which i would put in a tier because 
Fruity Pebbles just set the bar so much higher. Again, Cocoa Pebbles aren't bad by any means. Like, they are still very, very good. But against their brother, Fruity Pebbles, like, bro, come on. How can you compete? Corn Pops, A tier. Very good cereal. They're not bad, but they're just not good enough to, you know, squeeze up to the S tier. In fact, I had two bowls for breakfast. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Frosted Mini with... M mini wits P frosted mini weeds going in b tier they're not too bad of a cereal again it's just not my first choice which is the same thing i said with lucky charms but i would choose these over lucky charms now we got the goat the conqueror of all cereals Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is one of the greatest cereals of all time. No one can tell me differently. If there was a tier above S tier, it it would go there. Remember how I said Fruity Pebbles was in my top three? Well, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is my number one. In my opinion, it is unbeatable. And don't even get me going down the rabbit hill of what happens to the milk. It turns into this delicious sugary milk. They literally bottle this stuff and sell it separately. And you're gonna tell me it isn't that good? Like, come on, bro. Weetabix, F tier. Bro, listen, your mom takes you to the store, right? And you're looking through all the different cereals and you choose Weetabix. Weetabix? <laughs> like, what is going through your mind? You know, there's another cereal. There's Weetabix and then there's Wheaties. And they are both so abysmal. It's like I'm biting into a haystack. Like, bro, if you're choosing Weetabix over anything else on this list, literally anything, I would take Captain Crunch Berry... No, I wouldn't. But seriously, like, what are you doing? What has to be going through your mind? And to the people who are going to say, oh, just add some sugar to it. Why not just get mini wheats at that point? Bro, Weetabix. Yeah, the lowest of the low. So bad. If Cinnamon Toast Crunch can go above S, Weetabix and Wheaties can definitely go below F. Plain Cheerios D tier? They are not the worst things I've ever eaten. People say they are a lot worse than they really are. And they aren't. They're pretty harmless. Actually, no, I'm going to move them down to F tier because the burps they give you are disgusting. And it's not like they're any good for you. You know, they say heart healthy on the box. They aren't. They have just as much sugar as any other cereal. Cookie Crisp going in D tier. I'm really not a fan of this. I love cookies. I love milk. But together as a cereal, they're just... I mean, the concept sounds fantastic, but when executed, it's just meh. That's really the only way I can describe it. Checks. What in the hell are checks? What, is this a hollowed out mini wheat? No, dude, no. I... No, eh... F tier. Next up, we have Frosted Flakes, which are going to go A tier. Now, those of you who have seen my tier list are probably wondering why I moved them up from D tier, and especially since I said some blasphemous things about it, like that they're just glorified corn flakes, which they are. But the reason I'm moving them up to A tier is, although they're nothing special, they remind me of my dad. When I was a kid, me and my dad would eat Frosted Flakes in warm milk. And we would do this back when I was like four years old, so what, like 15 years? Years ago? Now, I understand that this is my own personal bias, and that's the reason I'm pushing Frosted Flakes ahead, but, uh... Yeah, I don't care. It's my list. I can change my mind when I want. In fact, I have some Frosted Flakes in the kitchen right now. Let me go get a bowl and try it. Oh, they're so, so good. You know what, man? No, I'm just gonna bump them from A tier to S tier. They taste really, really nice. And they remind me of my childhood of when me and my dad used to eat Frosted Flakes. We're probably going to eat them for breakfast tomorrow. I'm not even gonna lie. Strawberry Banana Cheerios. I haven't had these, but... Ew. Crave is going in B tier. I remember the first time I saw a commercial for Crave. It looked so amazing, like the chocolate was going to melt in your mouth. So then when I finally went to the store to get a box of Crave, and I bit into it, and... Meh. It wasn't bad, but it was just a little bit disappointing. Reese's Puffs, A tier. Reese's? Reese's? I don't know, man. They used to be my favorite, but honestly, they're not really anymore. I think it's because I ate just way too much of them when I was like 15 and 16 that I just got bored of them, bro. Again, still a very good cereal when I have it you know, the two times a year. It's just not my first choice anymore. At a point, it very much was, but no, not anymore. I'm sorry. Corn flakes? Eh, I'd put them in C tier. They're not bad, but 
Again, they're okay. Golden Grams S tier. These things are so good and nobody ever talks about them. People may just see them as, you know, a ripoff Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but I'm going to say it. I think they're almost as good. Okay, maybe that was taking it a little bit too far. But yo, they're really, really good. I don't know why they don't get enough credit. I pretty much ranked all the cereals that came to mind. I'm definitely going to do another long form tier list. I had a lot of fun making this. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and to all of my lovely subscribers. Eli, where my rocket ship? It's time to go home. Move it like I'm Jason. Can't get rest. I make up a stomp. Go, 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 go. That's so good she on.